What's up, weirdos? It's your boy EQ here on the weird couch. It is the end of 2018. Oh, Other people are doing like year in review. I'm going back and looking at all the wonderful things that happened, including the things that weren't so wonderful, that helped make the wonderful things even that much more wonderful. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the year, we always, everybody's always like, this year sucked. Whatever year it was, loads of people were like, this year sucked, this year sucked. And they either focus on that. And then you have those people who had wonderful years and that's all they focus on. Or they're lying to themselves and they, you know, don't want to acknowledge the fact that bad things happen. <clears throat> and I think both things set us up for failure. There is it's not it's not a truth, right? It's a half truth. Kinda like being normal. Being normal is a half truth, right? Being weird is the whole truth, and I hope you've learned that from me at some point in whatever year you started watching the weird couch. <clears throat> So let's take a look back at some of the weirdest moments for myself of 2018. I think it was in February. Um, I found out that, um, I, well, at least I thought I had had uh, blood cancer. I donated blood and then. Like, two days later, I ended up in the hospital with something called rhabdomyolysis. My CK levels, or CPK levels, my levels were high. Kind of like I had a crush injury, or like I worked out too much, or that I drank too much. And none of those things are true, and it baffled the doctors, and they admitted me. And we postponed our, uh, my trip, or our trip. I was taking my brother, uh, my broham, to Hawaii for his, for his 30th birthday. Um, but we postponed the trip a day because the doctors advised me to stay in the hospital another day. Then they also advised me not to take the trip. But I still took the trip. Where are we going, bro? Uh, that that, that location is yet to be rebuilt. Why is that? Listen, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. This family's important, and you know I, I love my brother to death. And this is for his 30th birthday. And <clears throat> not saying anything bad about my family, but I, ne you know, I've never had that, you know, for me. So um, throughout my entire life, I, tr you know, especially after leaving and then joining the army, um, it's been kind of like a goal of mine to be the best big brother I can. So I was really happy about that. So even though something bad had happened and it could have killed me, it didn't. And I had a, an amazing time in Hawaii, first time ever, with my bro hand. So, one of the best highlights of 2018, bar not. Between uh, March and June, it was doing blood donations, tracking my symptoms, and how long it took for my symptoms to come back. <clears throat> and then, June and July, VidCon Anaheim. It was awesome. Got to meet some, some amazingly new people, reconnect with some old people, um, and it was it did. It just turned out to be like this really like a new experience. Excuse me. I discovered this year too. I like pickles, whole pickles only, and relish. I don't like quartered pickles or sliced pickles at all. I'm too soggy. It's disgusting. Matt Mort, Melissa Rizé, Hannah Martin. You can meet the rest. If you haven't already, make sure you go watch those the whole videos. Then after that, more doctor's appointments, more uh, blood donations, and you know I thought I was feeling really good, but it, everything started to speed up. My symptoms were coming back quicker uh, and a lot stronger. And the doctor was like, "No, we need to get a second opinion because I might have I might have been wrong on this one." But then it was time for Australia VidCon. My friends I made the year before were super stoked. Love those guys to death, all of them. I made it over there and I had an amazing time. I was able to get very good uh, plane tickets with a 13 and 14 hour layovers uh, in Fiji, going there and coming back. And then you land in Australia and in, in Melbourne and it is just an amazing thing. And I made a bunch of new friends and I also met fans for the first time. I was dwindling a little bit, kind of like, man, like, I don't, I, I, you know, how do I connect and how do I, how do I reach out to you guys? How do I, you know, get you weirdos to understand 
it's okay to be a weirdo and but I love Badge Day and Badge Day came and it was awesome. Are you always this energetic? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I save it for VidCon. Actually, I save it for Badge Day. You don't understand. Badge Day is my favorite day. Badge Day. This is Badge Day. When you wait for your badge, this is Badge Day. I live for this. Uh, I mean, the highlights, uh, I met a bunch of people. It was amazing. Uh, if you didn't see the video, go watch the video. You'll see all of those people. Um, made friends with some of them. It was great. Uh, I got to be on um, VidCon's official Instagram story. Uh, I stole their phone, ran away with it. It was awesome. Going around and meeting people and, and like getting people hyped up on the first day, on opening day, and then people becoming fans, and then finding out that people in Australia know about the weird couch that they've seen my videos, you know, just scrolling through and they're like, yeah, we know who you are. Um, and you know, I signed like, I signed like three autographs. Like, it was awesome, you know? And then I've got people who are like, hey, are you coming back this next year? And I'm like, of course, if, you know, come heck, heck or high water, come hell or high water. I'm, I'm me and Amara had talked about it because we became friends, two Americans from the West Coast becoming friends in another country at the same event, right? Two Americans meet in Australia, it's crazy. We met Jim Louderback, got to interview him, got to interview some old friends and some new friends, uh, had a couple setbacks. <laughs> uh, I accidentally chopped the cable to my brand new laptop. Thanks to Tazzy, he ran all the way back to, or he Ubered to his, uh, his uh, Airbnb and then ran all the way back with an Australian cord uh, so that I can, you know, set up the laptop and we can do this uh, live stream interview from the Weird Couch at Bitcoin Australia. And Liam, you're doing an amazing job, as always. Just keep it up. You've got a good head on your shoulders. You and Rank both, very mature for your ages. Uh, cannot wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Um, my buddy Tim, oh my god, big Tim Casey, Bartronica. This dude was just, Tim was just by far, he was awesome. Like, not only was he like hyping me up, but he also got me the Bartronica hat, which is BAM! BAM! He got me the look at that, it matches my gaming chair. Check that out. 14 hour later, Fiji, that was amazing. And then I get home, and then I'm rushing to like edit all these videos. And then I hit a slump, I hit this depression, depression slump because I'm going to see the specialist now. Good news, confirmed, I don't have blood cancer. I had donated when I got back, ended up in the hospital again. This time, instead of five day, four or five days, I think it was like five or six days, and they believe it's not rhabdomyolysis. Something's causing my CPK levels to spike and my other symptoms. So they had to do a muscle biopsy. That was awesome, I got to film it. So, the test results came back. They thought it was myositis. That's why they did the muscle biopsy. Turns out, it's not myositis. But now we're back to square one, and I have no idea what's going on. Um, but that's okay, because uh, things are getting better. Things are looking up. So, I took a little bit of time off after I edited all those videos, and I kind of hit this depression. I had, I was so focused on um, my health, you know, work was stressing me out and just like other people were like pulling me in all these different directions and it's just me trying to handle this stuff and like all I could focus on was my health. Like that was, it was just in my head every single day, every single day. Thanksgiving was a bust. I was at work for Thanksgiving, which isn't a big deal, but we ended up having McDonald's. So yeah, it was a, that was a horrible Thanksgiving, but it's okay because we made up for it the next day. But then December rolls around and I start my yearly uh, reevaluation of the weird couch, myself, uh, you know, me being a creator, like what do I want to do? What's the what's the goals? Like 
and the reflection period too because like I said a lot of bad things happen but a lot of great things happen and so I wanted to, to use all of that the good and the bad to figure out where I wanted to go from here um, I've realized through all of that that uh, I'm not gonna do YouTube anymore that's all folks I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I couldn't even keep. I can't even keep it straight in my head. I was doing that on a whim. Uh, of course, I'm not quitting YouTube. Are you kidding me right now? I love making videos. Yeah, some, from time to time, I get a little stuck in my in my ways, and I get like, ah, well, you know, what am I doing? Why? You know, because I got loads of haters out there talking about your content sucks, and I get it. My content's not for everybody, and my content can be better. And so, 2019, right? Got this handy dandy planner. I'm going to be looking to do more projects, not just videos, more projects uh, like this next week. Um, I'm filming for the, the first project for 2019 is a, uh, a collab project that I'm doing with uh, Jane Doe Moto and Johnny Rocket um, and Jixer Girl and a few others. Um, and it's going to be about women and motorcycles. I definitely want to shoot a short film this year. I want to put on a charity event in VidCon Australia, outside of VidCon, but you know, like, make it this, this thing in conjunction with Amara in Seattle. 2019, make it yours and make it a great one. But don't neglect the fact that last year was also an awesome year because you made it through and now you're here. You're a better you, you're a different you, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you want to change it, you can. You want to change who you are on the inside and the outside, you can do it. You want to change the type of person you are, you can do that. You want to become religious, go be religious. If you don't want to be religious anymore, don't be religious anymore. Right? If you want to stop, if you want to stop drinking, don't drink. If you want to stop smoking, don't smoke. This year in July, it'll be two years since I quit dipping. Yes, I used to dip. It's all about the mental, your mental game, okay? I don't care if your tights are on fleek, if your eyebrows are on fleek. I don't care if your hustle game is strong. I don't care if your freaking sp you spit game. I don't care if you play game, if you're the best uh, you know, at Rocket League or you can throw the football the farthest. Um, I don't care about any of that. The only game that matters in 2019 is your head game, okay? Your mind game. How strong is this? Because if this falters, then you have a problem. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna be here, and I'm okay with that. You wanna be here, like everybody else. You wanna be normal, fine, be that way. You've been that way your whole life. I'm gonna be here because this is what, I've been this way my whole life, and people always try to sandbag me. They always try to put me down and tell me that I can't be up here. Because everybody else is here, and I'm the only person up here. And I've said it from the beginning, I'm going to say it again. Fuck that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 2019 is the year I'm going to make it to 1,000 subscribers at least. Fingers crossed. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Share it. Let's have a conversation. The couch is big enough for everybody. And as always, remember, be weird, be kind, and be human. Because if you bring a little weirdness into this world, I promise you, kindness and humanity will follow. See you guys next time.